Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the deletion in an MV search tree by means of an example. We have uh, drawn an MV search tree on the board and we are going to perform some uh, deletion operations from this MV search tree and deal with the several cases which we encounter in the case of the deletion in an MV search tree. So, uh, suppose this is an MV search tree and uh, this is the root node these this is these are the three uh, subtrees from uh, starting from this root node these are the subtrees one two three four subtrees are there from different parts of the uh, subtrees emanating from the root node and uh, we are going to perform the deletion operations uh, which will help us to understand the theory portion which we have described in one of our previous videos uh, where we have dealt with the deletion in an MV search tree in, in a way of, the, of a theoretical approach. So, we are going to perform the practical uh, approach over in this uh, example and uh, perform the deletions from an MV search tree as the case uh, may be. So, suppose we can just uh, take a very simple example of uh, deletion. There is the most, uh, there is the simplest case of the deletion of an uh, on an MV search tree that is the deletion of a key value which has uh, both of its uh, left and right subtree, uh, both of its pointers to the left and right subtrees as null pointers. So, we can take uh, any of this uh, uh, nodes from over here that is 148, 151, 172, 186. Suppose we want to delete 172. Suppose we want to delete 172, what we will do? We are going to delete this 172. See this 172 has two subtrees leading from it, both are null pointers. So, we can just simply delete this 172 and keep this three key values over here and one, uh, one address location will be also uh, curtailed in the in the process. So, suppose we are going to delete 172. If we are going to delete 172, we will just simply delete this k value 172 and and uh, keep these three other values 148, 151, 186 at their, uh, at their uh, uh, corresponding location. So, this uh, <coughs> is a very simple case. Suppose we can just incorporate the deletion of 172 in this figure itself. Uh, other than uh, drawing any other figure. So, we are suppose we are going to delete this 172 that is a very simple case that is both of the left subtrees and right subtrees from k from k is equal to 172 uh, are, uh, are null pointers and in this case we can simply uh, delete this 172 from over here and keep this three values over here. So, I am going to rub this 172 from this figure and give you the uh, give you the resultant figure of the after the deletion of 172. So, after removing the 172 from uh, this location, we are left with three key values 148, 151, 186 and uh, there will be one more child node to this location. That is this one. So, we are left with three key values and four child pointers. So, now this is the simplest case of deletion that is uh, deleting 172 from the previous uh, MV search tree which was drawn beforehand and now we are going to perform any other deletion which will lead to some other uh, deletion process that is some other cases we are dealing, to, uh, dealing with some other cases. That is uh, suppose uh, if the left pointer is null, right pointer is not null from a key value k or vice versa. So, that can be a case like this if we see if we see that uh, we are going to delete we are going to delete this suppose this 80 we are going to delete this 80 if we going to if we go to delete this 80 we can see easily that uh, suppose we are going to deal with this 80. So, suppose we are let us follow the deletion of since there are only one node it will be a bit difficult for you to understand for that purpose I am just going to delete suppose this 141 
which has a left pointer which is null and a right pointer which is non-null. That is, the right pointer leads to this subtree, entire subtree containing three uh, key values and four child pointers from it. So, suppose we are going to delete this 141. So, this is a case which can be compared to a case uh, which we have dealt with in the previous video where we have seen that a i was null and a j uh, not equal to null. So, this suppose this is a i with respect to 141 as the k value and this is a j and this a i leads to null and a j points to this entire subtree containing three key values. So, now what we will do if we just go on to delete this k the procedure was to take out the smallest of all the elements which are present in this particular subtree, smallest of all the key values which are present over here. That is, we are having three values over here 148, 151, 186. Out of these three, we will just select the smallest of those three values and that will be designated as suppose k or k dashed or. Uh, that will be designated as, as k dashed or k double dashed and we will just delete this k double dashed. Suppose the smallest element is called k double dashed, we will delete it from this original location and replace this k, uh, k value that is 141 by overwriting 141 by the k dashed uh, value that is 148 in this case. So, suppose we are going to delete this 141 in this second case the first case has been already dealt with and incorporated in the figure and in the second case the changes which can be made can be also incorporated in the figure by uh, rubbing a little bit of portion uh, for me as i am just uh, doing it by uh, on the board so i have the privilege of uh, just erasing a bit of uh, the, AVL, the existing mvs search tree and uh, incorporating the uh, incorporating the effects effects of the deletion. So, uh, suppose we are going to delete this 141. We will just override this 141 by 148 which is the smallest of all the key values from the right subtree of k that is 141. Take out the smallest value 148 is that one replace this 141 by this k double dash that is 148 and delete this 148 from its original location in this portion. So, now we can incorporate this change in a way like this. Suppose here we will be left with 151 and 186 only. I am just rubbing a little bit of portion. I am just doing a little bit of change over here to incorporate this uh, effect of the deletion that is 140 sorry this is not 140 this is not 148 I think this is 148 yes 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 so we will be getting the value we will delete 141 by replacing 141 by 148 that is 148 that was correct and we will be left with two key values over here out of the three key values which existed before uh, this uh, deletion and those three values those two values will be i think 151 and 170 was previously deleted and 186 i think yes the figure contained 151, 148, 151 and 186. We have replaced this 141 uh, in the deletion process of 141 by 148 and we are left with these two values 151 and 186 over here leading to these three null pointers over here. So, this is the resultant figure after the deletion of 141 or uh, we can also deal with any other case which is the reverse of this case. This is That is if we have a case where the left sub 3 points to uh, a non-null pointer, left subtree is a non-null pointer and the right subtree is a null pointer, we will just do the reverse of the uh, case which we have done in this case. That is, we will take out the largest value from the uh, from the left subtree part of the uh, key value which is to be deleted that is, the, that is k and uh, we will replace k by that largest value and delete uh, the k dashed that is the value 
that is the largest value from the subtree left subtree uh, from and delete that uh, largest value from the uh, from its original location largest value of the le left subtree from its uh, original location. So, we are going to delete that largest value of the left subtree we are going to delete the largest value of the left subtree from the uh, from its original location and replace uh, the value key value k which is to be deleted by that largest value. So, in we will deal with this uh, situation in the process uh, in, in the reverse way as we have done in this case whereby we have deleted uh, the node containing the value 141. So, if we have some other case like if both the pointers are uh, not null like in this case if we suppose if we are going to delete this 198 this is an interesting situation which is the case number 4 which we have dealt with in the theory section where we can see that uh, we have no uh, not null pointers ai is also not null aj is also not null. So, we will take out either the largest of these three values from this left side that is 148 replace 198 by 148 and deleting 148 from over here or we can take this 262 if uh, it would have been like this that 262 is present with any other elements but since this 262 is a solitary value from this right side we are left with the option of taking out the largest uh, value from one for uh, from this left subtree 148 and replace this 198 by 148 but we if we would have got any other value uh, with 262 we could have taken the this the smallest value from this right subtree and replaced the 198 with the with the smallest value on the right subtree as well but in this situation we are going to if we delete if we go to delete this uh, 198 we are going to replace this 198 by 148 and delete this 148 from over here. So, this uh, is the uh, this is another case that is the uh, that is the number 4 case whereby where the key value which is to be deleted has a has two null point uh, has two pointers leading to the two subtrees that is a i and a j both are not equal to null. So, uh, this is the explanation uh, by means of an example of the deletion process in an m -Vesage tree and if you have any doubts and queries uh, pertaining to this entire uh, explanation uh, you can well post your doubts and queries into the comment section below so that I can address them. Thanks for watching this video.